Welcome to another movie. This time I want to show you something interesting, something new. Uh, this is a new ESC that I just uh, ordered to test it. It's a Dumbo RC uh, ESC. It's a uh, 10 amps uh, ESC, but this one works uh, with 2S and 3S LiPo. That's why it's so interesting. Also, you can see how much cables there are. That is uh, why it's so interesting. Okay, so uh, first of all, this one have a uh, airplane mode, uh, break on, break off. I don't, still don't know what the airplane mode, but I want to see that. Uh, maybe it's one direction uh, switch. Uh, it's powering uh, the receiver with the six volts, so that's uh, quite new. I don't know if. Uh, all the receiver can support it but probably yes they mostly have a, a regulator and there is a second channel that controls uh, the lights if i uh, understand understand good there is a led socket where you can connect some leds uh, there is uh, let's see what do we have in here uh, there is a of course a battery connect connector power one there is a buzzer connector I don't have any buzzer now so I am not able to test it it will uh, use it uh, use buzzer to signal uh, low power or something like that and of course there is a motor connector okay so let me uh, assemble some test circuit and I will explain anything whether I connected what and we will see uh, how this will uh, work Okay, so I did assemble a small circuit. Uh, sadly, I wanted to test this uh, on this motor because uh, this one already have a JST uh, socket on it, but they all are sockets. For the motor, there should be a plug, not a socket. So that's a quite um, important problem but still uh, the market so there is no problem but it's better to get a set of uh, cables for this uh, I did not connect the LED um, I will try to co uh, connect something uh, maybe later uh, I also cannot connect the buzzer because I just don't have it I connected the second and the third channel the second is for the ESC the third is probably for the for the late LED if that will uh, work I will uh, take it uh, connected later let's put it to the uh, it's, I need some knife to cut this uh, cut the switch uh, free because they put a shrink tube uh, on uh, on a switch and that automatically block the the switch so I'm not uh, in this moment I was not able to switch uh, anything on it and now if I cut it I will be okay so I'm getting it loose okay I have it so let's put it to the uh, we have now the brake on the, uh, this is uh, some gearbox from a spider toy that I have so we'll test this uh, I'm using a standard Alstar radio I also have a Dumbo but this one and this was the first one so now, uh, now you need to uh, watch the labels this is some 2S battery I hope it's uh, still charged so it is uh, already on there is no sm uh, switch on it so that's uh, quite weird so let's see how this works something wrong let me connect it again maybe he needs to have a signal right away okay let's see now Four, zero. probably uh, now it's a airplane mode it's weird because I did put it in the right 
it work again. So now it's airplane. Now it's brake uh, on the power button. Oh, I I think I know what's the problem. Let's test it. Negative full zero no. What is the problem now? Uh, it's uh, just getting a maybe. Let's switch it to airplane mode, and let's see now. What in the hell? Now it's working fine. Okay, so not now it's working. There is a brake reverse. Maybe they are switched. Because now, yeah, sorry, my my mistake. So now uh, they are on the other side. So now it's uh, working fine. So let's see the slowest speed. Oh, it's much better than the cheap red ones. See the the speed. It's really uh, crawling. It's uh, there is a really uh, low speed on it. It's full control on full uh, full range. So now there is a brake. Brake zero reverse. And forward brake reverse. Let's see the reverse also have yes there is really slow speed. Check this out. Go really low on it. And it's uh, stopping. Really great uh, uh, range uh, of uh, a motor. Okay, so uh, this is uh, that. Let's see. No, probably this one controlled the LED or maybe it's controlling. Uh, no, it's just power. So I have no idea what the third channel is uh, doing. Probably the third channel controlled the buzzer, uh, but um, because I don't have it uh, connected, uh, wait, maybe I can test some voltage. It will be quite difficult because I can make a short circuit but I think I will just try this uh, the positive is on this side kids don't do that because if you short uh, these two connectors the battery may burn there is voltage now let's switch it There is voltage now, so I have no, completely no idea what this, maybe it's controlling this, do I have a cable in here, uh, yes I am, so let's see if there is a built-in switch, maybe that's what the, what this, what this is all about, let me put it like this, maybe you will be able to completely not see anything, let's do something like this, this should work, ok, let's uh, put it to the negative, positive, there is a zero, and there is, so, the great interesting part is that this one have a, let me disconnect it, this uh, ESC have a built-in switch, so you can control lights uh, on off, so it's ideal for WPL cars where, where you have everything inside, the only downside is that you need to pass through uh, power connection through the switch because there is no switch in here but it is really great also it's much much smaller than the red one okay so now I want to see again the let's see uh, here uh, I'm switching to the break off uh, again I need to check where I connecting 
and now it's the brake off and you can see it's oh, sorry you can see it's smoothly working so for me oops I did disconnect the motor <laughs> uh, for me that's a really great thing because uh, there are much more functions so also you have a uh, wait, let me think about it I need to hold it to the negative I'll just uh, wait so you also have a airplane mode it's like this now it's uh, in the uh, down position of the throttle and you have a full range throttle so if you have a, a airplane with one motor or maybe two motors but this will not uh, control the second one this also is controlling that okay so uh, I need to disconnect Somehow, okay, let me. Okay, give me a second, I will get the beacon light and we will see if the beacon light will turn on, on, uh, on the switch. Okay, I have my beacon, uh, it's a RC uh, LED beacon. But uh, the only problem is that the beacon is also controlled by uh, a third channel, so I don't uh, know if it will turn on, but we will test this. Uh, the black on the downside, let's turn on the remote, again let's free time checks if I connect battery to the power. <laughs> And it is connected. Oh wait, it's uh, in the airplane mode. Uh, let's switch it to the brake on. And the motor is now working. And let's see if the beacon will turn on. Yes, it is. Turning off, turning on, turning off. So it means you can connect uh, lights uh, to this uh, to this connector, and you have a uh, another thing that it's built in. It's so small uh, device. So the only important part is that you need to remember there is a five volts output. So if you connect a LED to this uh, connector, it will burn. You need a minimum. Uh, 220 ohms resistor for a full brightness and the best uh, light uh, the most real realistic uh, light is on one uh, 1000 uh, ohms 1k ohms uh, and that will give you the most uh, realistic uh, light uh, and the second great part is that this device can work on a 2s or 3s battery so if you want to have a faster car, no problem. Another part, uh, the receiver is powered by 6 volts and the lights by 5 volts. It means that the uh, MG90 servo that we mostly use on these devices will have the full power uh, of this uh, uh, from the 6 volts because MG90S and MT90 servos, the Tower Pro, clones servos use uh, the 5 and the 6 volts and on the 6 volts they have more power so wow it's a really great thing uh, another thing is cheaper it's really cheaper than the uh, popular red one uh, okay let me uh, turn it off I will uh, compare the size I think I have a spare one uh, to the red one okay I have the red DLC I have some spares, so I have many of them. Let me turn it off because I leave it on. Turn the on. Here's the size compare. This one is longer, uh, but also it's um, uh, because of the cables in here. But here's the size. The, they are almost the same length uh, as uh, as the uh, red one uh, and the green one, but this is the size compare. 
you can see it's a much more uh, narrow to uh, to the red one it will not fit my uh, dual and 20 design because it's much longer but do this one i can fit anywhere because it's much more smaller so now i will not order this ones because uh, uh, this one's uh, um, I think more expensive but this one is uh, 10 or 20 amps but probably is still 10 amps no you don't need this um, mostly motor and this type uh, will take about 5 amps uh, the motors like this I think the uh, 150 and 180 motors that are not power consumption I did test that uh, but uh, the 10 amps will be much more than enough for uh, stuff like that. You have a light uh, that you can uh, turn on, turn off, but remember about the resistor. You will have a buzzer, you can uh, probably, I don't know how the buzzer will work, probably by holding longer the this button, maybe you turn on the buzzer, but sorry, I'm not able to test that. Uh, but this will allow you to have a horn if I uh, understand good uh, and of course the lights so it is really great it's much more smaller as you can see there are much more connectors much more cable than uh, the normal uh, red uh, one the only downside that I did found is that there are three exactly the same plugs so uh, the power plug is right because uh, the battery have a plug so you need a socket but other two ones should also have a plug not a socket because all the uh, the accessories like a motor or something like that uh, should have a uh, socket not a plug so as you can see on the red one this one is the power this one is for motor so this is the downside i hope the dumbbell rc will uh, fix this but it's a really really giant upgrade on the on the, this uh, this uh, old red uh, esc that we mostly use uh, you need to cut around the switch to be able to switch it but it's a really giant upgrade and this one only support 2s this one work with 2s and 3s and the lipo alarm will switch automatically but i hope the alarm will also work on a uh, motor but uh, if not it will only work on the buzzer i'm still not able to know how the buzzer work probably it's 5 volts with the small power uh, because I just don't have uh, anyone laying around but this is my new favorite ESC of course I have some giant uh, ESCs because uh, not every car will uh, consume about 10 amps but for the WPL, JJRC, the all other cars, uh, MZ, the MN it's really perfect uh, design because you have everything inside it's like the, the boards they have but you can select what remote you want you can select the Dumbo or the All-Star like I have it's uh, the Dumbo is much cheaper now than the All-Star have more uh, functions and the gyroscope so the All-Star radius is uh, is now the same as the red one nope so now the Dumbo uh, RC is really upgrading our hobby. You have much more functions with something like this than the old red one. So that's all for now.